So we want to welcome Zach Brock back to our studios here on WFPK, and he's got a new trio with him this time around. Used to be the uh, Coffee Achievers, right, Zach? That's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's good to see you all again. So how long has this new formation been going? This is very new. Um, you know, I've been playing with Matt for, gosh, I guess since 2002, so mm-hmm. for a while. A but I met Fred through Matt um, mm-hmm. when I moved to New York about five years ago. Oh. And uh, this group, we, we recorded the record uh, kind of at the in the middle of the spring, I guess. And uh, so, you know, that's kind of how the group has come together. This is our first tour, and uh, we're definitely excited to be back in Louisville playing for you. Yeah. Um, now, you say Matt, and uh, we have with us uh, Matt Wigden. Right? right? On bass, and then Fred Kennedy on drums, the Zach Brock Trio, and playing tonight at the Rudyard Kipling. The new album you were just talking about is The Magic Number, and I understand you did some interesting uh, fundraising for this record. Yeah, that's true. We uh, we tried this new sort of crowdsourcing or fan sourcing kind of uh, thing. Also, micro-funding. How about that? I'll throw all the terms <laughs> out. Uh, it's this website called Kickstarter, and uh, basically, you know, you set a fundraising goal for some sort of, you know, usually like an artistic project of some sort and it's an all or nothing thing where you have to raise the funds for the record if you raise it or exceed it you get to keep those funds if you don't then the money goes back to the people that donated and you have to start again Um, you know that way ensuring that you actually have enough money to do your project and so that's what we did and we raised the budget for the record and uh, it's it was a great experience. It's nice to have a bunch of records that are paid for and that sound like we want them to sound. Yeah, that's you know that's a tough thing for any musician is raising the bucks and finding creative ways to do that, and then coming out with a product that you're really happy about. So you're feeling you're feeling really good about this one at least. I feel very good about this one. Yeah. yeah. Now you all made your international debut at the Toronto Jazz Festival. That's right. Yeah, this summer in July. How was that? It was great. There's this place called the Rex. We were actually just playing there uh, last Saturday. We mm. we came back up and opened up for this incredible band called Snarky Puppy. Um, it's this huge band of guys that sort of either live in Texas or New York, just kind of depending on you know where they get together. Mm. And anyway, this uh, this fantastic hotel and jazz club in Toronto called the Rex, and that's where we played this summer as part of the festival. And we were glad to go back. And it's just a it's a it's a really cool cool scene up there. People really like. They they like traditional jazz. They also like you know more sort of experimental and sort of I don't know modernistic type things. And mm-hmm. uh, it's a good crowd to play for. When I I was looking at your blog on your website, and all the, the word that jumped out at me was snarky puppy, and it said snarky puppy killed it. So then I started really reading. I'm like, what what happened? <laughs> I didn't realize you were talking about a band. I thought maybe it was something else. <laughs> like we had a feral dog traveling in the back yeah. of the car or something like that. It would not be the first time for a band to do that. I actually, know. we're so boring these days. You know, I think guys used to do that more. You know, back in the 70s and the 80s. We're just so milk toast, you know. It's just like trying to eat healthy and drink lots of water and get enough sleep. Totally boring. <laughs> yeah, but the music is not. And maybe we should hear a song now. And uh, this first song is on the new album, The Magic Number, Zach Brock Trio on WFBK.
Wonderful stuff. Uh, very cool. That song's called Golden Nuggets.